I'm James Ellis, Literacy Lead and History Teacher at Dixon's King's Academy. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you haven't already done so, do subscribe to our channel, use the like function and comment below to tell us which episodes have been the most useful for you or what you would like to see on the channel next. Today we will be looking at using the whiteboard.fi app during synchronous lessons. This app should help us to facilitate effective formative assessment during these lessons and can replicate some of the benefits we gain from using mini whiteboards in our actual teaching. Prior to the lesson, you should first create a class in the app. This app does not require any login and does not store data between lessons, so you will need to create a new class every time you wish to use the app in a different synchronous lesson. First, open your internet browser and go to whiteboard.fi. After that, you will need to click on the Create New Class button. You will need to enter your name as you wish it to appear to the students, for example, Mr Ellis. You should select Enable Waiting Room, as this will allow you to control who joins your class. I would recommend leaving the Enable Manual Save Mode for Students unselected, as doing this allows you to see the students' work as they are writing, and means the students do not need to click Save to share their answer with you. Once you have created your class, you are going to be given a link which you can use to invite students to your class. You need to post this link into your lesson chat and then instruct students to click on it. Students will need to put their name and then join the lobby. If there are students in your lobby, you will see them in the lobby drop down and you can allow them to enter. If any students try to enter who are not in your class or who may have chosen inappropriate names, you have the option to amend this or you can remove them prior to the lesson beginning. Click on Toggle My Whiteboard to reveal your whiteboard. There are numerous ways that you can add to your whiteboard. Clicking on the Draw button allows you to draw freehand. You can draw lines or shapes using the relevant buttons. You can add text by clicking on the Add Text Box button. You can also upload images by clicking on the Insert Image button. Clicking Flatten Image will take everything and move it to the background of your whiteboard. Students will be able to see your whiteboard by clicking on the Toggle Teacher Whiteboard. So you can use this as a way of modeling or posing questions to students. Alternatively, you may want to pose questions to students in your lesson PowerPoint or verbally leaving your whiteboard blank. You will be able to see all of the students' whiteboards underneath your own. Only you can see their whiteboard. They cannot see their classmates' answers. You will be able to watch as students develop their answers and give feedback in the lesson accordingly. Students can add to their whiteboard using the same features as staff. If a student is writing in the text box, you will only be able to see their answer when they click off the text box. Clicking on a student's whiteboard will enlarge it to your screen. The Actions tab at the bottom will allow you to erase their whiteboard 
or to copy their whiteboard onto your own. This would allow you to share their answer with other students. The settings tab in the top right hand corner allows you to erase all student whiteboards at once. In the top right hand corner of your whiteboard, there is a push button. This allows you to replicate your whiteboard onto the student's whiteboard. If you choose push to students, it will replicate your whiteboard onto the student's whiteboard and it will then allow students to edit it. If you choose to push students, push to students' background, it will make your whiteboard the background of students in a way that they cannot edit it, but they will be able to draw over it. Finally, to close the class, click on the settings tab and click close room. There are many more features of this app, but I hope that this introduction to the basics proves helpful and assists with meaningful formative assessment. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and share.